So to switch this over to immutable deploys, again, I said that we could modify this file, but we want to do it pragmatically, and we're going to do that through the configuration files. So what I want you to do is go into eb.extensions here. Oh, it's not letting me type. If that happens to you, you can just close bash and uh, open a new window here. I already have one open. Um, and I'm just going to go into EB extensions. I'm going to make a new file and I'm going to call this um, 000 deploy.config. I just want it to be ahead of those other ones. I don't think that order really matters, but it's just what I want to do. Um, oops, it's not make, we want to do touch. So we'll touch a new file there. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set option settings. And we're going to do AWS Elastic Beanstalk here. Um, and we're going to do command. And what we're going to do is set the deployment policy to be immutable. And then what we're also going to do is set health check success threshold. Uh, threshold to warning and then we're going to set ignore health check to true and we're going to set timeout to 600 here. So I'm just going to read this over very quickly here make sure I didn't make any mistakes here. Elastic Beanstalk that's correct. Immutable or deployment policies immutable that looks right to me. Health check status threshold, that looks good to me. Ignore health check. So we're gonna say over here what we're doing, we're just we're actually checkboxing that off. Okay. And we're pretty much setting the same settings that are here, except this is gonna be warning. Um, and that should make the deploy really fast. Um, and also while we're at it, let's just make a superficial change. So when we do deploy, we can actually see if uh, the effects have uh, taken effect here. So I'm just gonna go to our actual application here. I'm gonna just change this to Study sync. Version one. If we were to actually check out this application before we deploy it here, notice that this says hello world here. So we're changing that to study sync version one. We're going to go back um, to bash here. We're going to go back a directory. I'm just going to type clear. Make sure you're in the environments study sync in here. And we're going to add all the changes. So we made, we modified that file, we added a new configuration file. So I'm going to add them both. Get commit hyphen m immutable deploys. I'm going to push those changes. I'm going to go ahead and deploy that. So, so we'll just type in eb deploy. And right away, it should start um, switching over to immutable deploys because it's going to pull those configuration files, look at them, and then it's going to decide on what to do. So if I think we just wait here a moment, it's actually going to tell us. And we can see that I actually have uh, an error here. So I'm going to go ahead and abort that. So I'm just type eb abort. Um, but we can see it contains invalid key option settings. So I probably just made a mistake here. Oops. Yep. We'll try this again. EB deploy. Oh, well, we have to commit those changes. Get push. We'll do EB deploy again. And so what we're looking for is to see if it will actually say that it's doing an immutable deploy. And there it is. It says immutable deployment policy enabled. So we're going to have to wait for that deploy to happen. I'm just going to open a new tab here because I'm going to stop the video here. Um, and immutable deploys are a lot slower uh, than, uh, than all at once. But the advantage here is that it won't take our server out of service. Um, it's going to create a new server. And then when that new server is good, it's going to switch over to it. So our users will never have an interruption in service. So I'll see you back here shortly. 
All right, great. So our mutable deploy uh, has completed. Um, it's actually been uh, quite a while since last time I was here uh, because I'm actually recording this the next day. But I can tell you that that immutable deploy uh, didn't take too long. Um, so it definitely takes longer than uh, the than the uh, all at once deploy. All at once is extremely fast, where um, these immutable deploys have to uh, go through health checks um, and then go through multiple checks before it determines that the new service is good and moves over. Um, so, you know, that was immutable deploy, but what I want you to do is go back to cloud nine and we are just going to undo those changes there because the next thing we're going to learn how to do is blue green deployment. And I don't want these immutable deploys slowing down our development here. So, uh, just to get rid of this immutable deploy stuff, all we're going to do is remove that file there. So I want you to type in RM and we're going to uh, do tilde here, environments, uh, study sync, uh, EB extensions, 000, zero, zero config deploy. And then we're just going to add those changes. I'm going to make sure that I'm in that study sync directory there because it looks like I was in the wrong uh, wrong place there. And we will do um, uh, git add all, git commit hyphen m, uh, revert back to immutable uh, deploys. Okay, git push. And just before we do anything else uh, here, I just want to go back um, to uh, the environment here and just show you under your configuration that it should have switched to immutable deploys. So here you can see it's immutable and the health checks uh, are disabled. Um, but anyway, now that we uh, have that set up, all I'm going to do here is now that I've made these changes, I did a push. I'm just going to do a cap deploy or so <laughs> not cap deploy, EB deploy. I'm thinking of cap Astrana, which is for Ruby on Rails. It's not what we're doing here. Uh, and and what we'll do is we'll just revert this back uh, to all at once. And this isn't going to take too long. So I'm just going to go back here to my dashboard and we can see this is updating. And I'll see you here uh, when this is done. And then we'll move on to blue green deployments, which should be super exciting.